right, guys, in case I'm back here with more Yakuza 3 in the last one. Aniki! <laughs> Rikia, what are you doing over here? Bono. Well, you said we were going to be shipping out of the Kamarocha tonight, but I realized I never agreed on the time. Figured I'd stop by and check with you. Oh, uh, the flight will be at 8, I guess? You guess? Shouldn't you have booked it by now? And hey, that's pretty late. We're not going to get into Tokyo till 11. That's fine. Kamarocho never sleeps after all. Good point, Aniki. Oh, and I'm already packed and ready to go. This trip's going to be a great. We're not going to have fun, Rikia. This is all about business. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyways, we got some time until we got to head out for our 8 o'clock flight. Guess I'll just chill here for now. Right. Uh, Aniki. good idea. By the way, Aniki, take a gander over there. Hmm? Mitsuo and Riona. What about them? Someone's got a case of young love if you catch me. I'm not sure I do catch you. Just watch, yeah? Hey, Riona. You know Okada from school? His dad's like mega rich. Apparently he owns three whole movie theaters in town. Did you know that? Mm. Yep. Oh. Well, uh, anyway, me and Okada were talking and he gave me two free tickets for a movie th at his, one of his dad's movie theaters. Uh-huh. Are you sure you didn't beat the tickets out of them? What? Of course not. Yeah, sure. Anyway, it turns out those tickets are only good until today. Can you believe it? I'm out of luck if you don't if I don't go now. What should I do? Um, just go. Well, I want to but none of my friends could do it today. Huh? Can't you just go alone then? But Riona Will you go with me? Sorry, I have plans. Uh -huh. huh? What kind of plan? Don't you have a movie to get to? Maybe Shiro or one of the other guys could go want to go with you. Oh, um, yeah. Ouchie, ouchie, that's gotta hurt. Not surprised with these clothes, though. Not sure you're to be one to critiquing fashion, Rikia. <laughs> Oh, come on, just look at this luscious hair. Not a single strand out of place. Yeah, because it's one solid block. Hold up, Aniki, do you not like how I look? Eh, whatever. Guess you're behind the times. Excuse me. You gotta accept the fashion's chains, old-timer. I know more about fashion than you do. Sure you do, Aniki. Hey, why don't we have a little friendly contest? You know, to see who's really got the best taste. A fashion contest, huh? You're gonna regret this. <laughs> I'm gonna make you regret challenging me, Rikia. Heh, <laughs> sure you are, Aniki. Sure you are. Alright, here come the rules. Each one of us is gonna pick out some stuff to make Ritsu style pop. One clothing item and one accessory. Got it? Yeah. Good. Now let's recruit back here when we got them. I'm gonna whoop your ass to high heaven, Aniki. How do I always end up agreeing to these absurd requests? I do want to help Mitsuo, though. I guess I'll play along. Why not just talk to him? Also, we got a doggy! Uh, did I introduce myself? Hey, hey, guys, the Gay Sode back here with Warrior Yakuza 3 in the last one. We followed the doggy around. And now we're helping our kid. Why don't we talk to the other kid? R where is Riona? She like walked off somewhere. I would think like maybe having her opinion is a good idea. All right, so there's no kid in the house besides Mitsuo right there. Oh, hello. Ah, Kitty-san, I couldn't but help but over here. You in the, uh, that flowery man, Rikia, was it? You want to make Mitsuo-kun more popular with the ladies, yes? Uh, yeah. I honestly don't know how a lot about the latest trends, though. I was just going to window shop a bit downtown. I see. In that case, I recommend stopping in the store right near the big intersection. I never actually stepped foot in that place myself, but one of the resident neighborhood housewives seemed very keen on their products. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Thanks, Miyara-san. Alright. Go to the shop.
making my way downtown shopping here. Gotta get some clothes for my kid now. That sounded silly. Oh, it's across the street. Oh, almost got ran over by a taxi. Uh, hello? Yes, I'm okay. Hello there, sir. How what can I help you with? Hopefully a lot. I'm looking for some children's clothes and maybe an accessory to go with them. Just a moment, sir. Allow me to show you what we have in stock. Pretty limited selection. What should I pick? Dragon. Dragon. I'll take that dragon print polo. Nothing quite like a dragon. Excellent choice, sir. And for the accessory? Only two options. I'll go with... Sunglasses. The other one makes you look like an American, <laughs> I guess. I'll go with the sunglasses. Not much cooler than that. Very good, sir. It'll come out 2,000 yen. Sweet. Alright. Now we have to go home and show up off the goods I picked. It's definitely a Kiryu brand to have a dragon. And some sunglasses. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> I wonder if I should have, like, a montage of me getting into random fights like this. Because, like, I get into random fights so often. Wow, he beat us both on the ground. You gonna hit me? Gonna hit me? No, 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 you don't. You don't. You're not gonna flip me, Dale. Yeah, no, you ain't gonna flip me. Ow, I landed on my head. Are these all sumo techniques or something? Because they're doing like the feet stamp thing that sumos do. Ow. Maybe only the feet stamp is like a taunt. From the big guys. Thank you for giving me a toughness E. Now let's go back. Morning glory. Okay. Sorry about that. I was trying to finish off a piece of food that I was having here. Well, Aniki, ready to get the fashion beat down? Actually, I'm pretty confident. How are you feeling, Rikiai? Oh, you don't gotta worry about me. I'll just be fine. Anyway, let me go grab Mitsuo. He's trying to build a doghouse. Leave him alone. Oh, no, wait. Sorry. Never mind. We're back, Aniki. What is it, Uncle Koss? I'm really not feeling so good. You'll feel better soon, Mitsuo. We're gonna give you a fashion makeover. Whoa, really? Heck yeah. You're gonna have to claw the ladies off of you, and it'll be thanks to me and my amazing oh. taste. I don't know about this. Come on, it'll be fine. All you gotta do is put on the clothes and tell us which one you like look better. You could start with mine. I got you sunglasses and a dragon print polo. Uh... You gotta be kidding me, Aniki. The kid's gonna be too shy to look in a damn mirror if you dress him up like that. Really? I thought fashion was all about standing out. Always go to stand all alright, like a sore freaking thumb. Hmm. Not to worry, Mitsuro. I got the solution to all your girl troubles right here. Okay, what is it, Uncle Rikia? Man, you're gonna love this. A short jacket, baggy pants, and of course you can't go anywhere with a nice old school bag. It's kind of squished, but who cares? Um. Come on, it's my old gear from when I was in junior high. Took a while to round it all up, mind you. Girls go gaga for this bad boy stuff. Trust me, you'll have to beat them off with a stick. Well, you want it, right? No way. Huh? Uh, but, 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 don't you want to look cool? 
Yeah, but that's why I'm not taking your clothes. Nobody wears stuff like that anymore. Besides, why would I wear your junior high clothes? I'm still in elementary school. I'd rather take the things Uncle Kaz picked out. Heh. <laughs> Who's behind the times now, Rukia? Looks like you haven't seen clothes like that in years. Not like you did any better. Don't be like that. You lost fair and square to me, an old timer. Why don't you go get changed, Mitsuo? Oh. Alright, but I'm not really feeling this either. Just try it on. It's good to change up your vibe sometimes. If you say so. Yeah! Look at him! Are you sure this is cool? This feels kind of not. Heh. <laughs> you look like a Yakuza in training. I don't think it's that bad. And hey, doesn't the dragon print make you feel closer to your Uncle Kaz? It's always dragons with you, Aniki. Alright, Mitsuo. Get over there and show Riona what you got. Okay. Hey, Riona. I couldn't find anyone else who wanted to go to the movie with me, so... Are you sure you don't want to come? Uh, what are you wearing? I want to be caught dead in a movie theater with a guy dressed like that. Anyway, I already said I have my own plans. Right. Oh, I failed! Shit, he got flat out rejected and insulted to boot. Oops. Maybe she's just not into me, Uncle Kaz. Hey, you can't give up after one small failure. You have to keep trying, Mitsuo. Maybe, but I think she likes this guy Okada from my class. Then you'll just have to prove you're better than him. What? But he's really cool, and uh, his dad is super rich. But you don't even know if he likes her. You can't ignore how you feel, Mitsuo. Huh? Well, you like her, right? Yeah, I really like her. Then you know what you need to do. You're right. I'm not going to give up. Anyway, I should go grab Taichi. He said he'd see the movie with me if Riona didn't want to go. Heh. <laughs> Glad you have someone to go with. It's a shame Mitsuo can get Riona to go with him, but I guess she did have other plans. Maybe I should just head into town to keep an eye on Mitsuo and Taichi. Alright, let's go spy on my kids. Uncle Kaz! What's up, Riona? Do you know where Harkachan is? I need to talk to her. Probably out shopping for groceries as soon as she, if she's not home. Huh? But I need her now. What's the rush? Well, I'm gonna hang out with some friends from school, so I was trying to make a bento. But I can't figure out how to make Dura... Dura Wakashi. Oh, Dura Wakashi. You know... The mashed up taro with pork? I've definitely seen Haruka-chan made it before, but I can't find her anywhere. Do you know how to make it, Uncle Kaz? More or less. I'm not a local, but I can manage. Really? Come on, teach me. Let's go. All right, all right. Calm down. <laughs> so, you think you understand? Yeah. Thanks, Uncle Kaz. I didn't realize that stuff wasn't curry. I guess my menu has been limited at times. Anyway, go have fun and stay out of the street, okay? Mm-hmm. She's still making the bento. Yeah. Hi, Riona chan What are you making that bento for? Are you going on a date? Mm. Yeah, though it's not going to be just us. Is it with Mitsuo? Uh -huh. What? No. Oh, well, I think you two would be good together. I know he's kind of immature sometimes, but you'd be happy with him, Riona-chan. Look, it's not going to happen, Maruka-chan. I just don't see myself dating a black guy. Whoa, that's... Oh, we can't have racism now in the house. That's rude. Riona-chan? Sorry, that came out wrong. Anyway, I have to go. Sounds like she doesn't like Mitsuo because he's different. That's not how I raised her. What the heck? Riona nearly ran into me. Taichi. 
Huh? Oh, hi, Uncle Kaz. Aren't you supposed to be at the movies with Mitsuo? I was gonna go, but then he told me some it was gross some gross love story. I don't want to see that with him. And where is he now? I don't know. He just kind of walked off. He didn't look so happy. Do you remember which direction he went in? Pretty sure it was towards downtown. Oh, I bet he's gonna see that movie by himself. Hmm. Sounds like I should check up on him. Find Mitsuo. I hope Mitsuo is okay. My best bet would be to head downtown. Okay, but first I want to know, are the kids still in the house? I want to talk to Haruka. She is not here. I'm just going to check one other place and that's it. Oh, the house. Just the little playroom over here. Uh, nope. Most certainly not. Oh, <laughs> he looks so defeated. I can't believe it. Well, time to go downtown. Do 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 do. All right, where is he? Oh, I guess I just walk around until I find him. You know, in one of the other Yakuza games, as you're beating up people, you can see the names in the uh, lower right corner. In one of them, there was a sub or not a sub student. There was an achievement where you had to fight a guy named Sega. And it's funny because. Sega is the name of the company that made this game. I got a platinum what now? A platinum nail. Jeez. What is it with them and giving me random items? Oh, I found him, I think. There he is. What is he doing over here? He meets you. Hey, wait. That's Riona, and those must be your friends from school. Where did next go, Kanakun? I'll go anywhere as long as you're there with me. My dad has a hotel pretty close to here with a big pool. Maybe we could go for a swim? Wow, that sounds amazing, Okada-kun. Heck yeah, I've never been to a hotel pool before. Um, something wrong, Riona-chan? No, it's nothing. Oh yeah, Riona has that gross burn on her arm. She's probably too much of a wimp to go into a pool because everyone's going to be able to see it. Wait, is it really that gross? I want to see. Come on. Stop it, please. Yeah. Stop. These kids are mean. つけてたわけじゃなくて、通りかかったら偶然。だ、大丈夫か？みつおは気持ち悪くないの？な、何を？やけど、そ、そんなの全然だよ。それはリオナにとっては大きな悩みかもしれないけど。でもさ、ほ、ほら、俺なんて日焼けも火傷もしてないのに真っ黒なんだよ。その方がもっと変じゃない？ね。うん。笑えない？ご、ごめんね。ど、どうしたの？ Oh, sorry 
just a little more. Huh? What's going on? Looks like Mitsuo didn't need your help after all. Not like your suggestion was any better. Did you say something? No, no, nothing at all. Haha. <laughs> By the way, Rikia, you should probably go grab your bags. Our flight's pretty soon. Huh? Shut on a stick, you're right. Let me head real home real quick and I'll be back before no. you know it. See you in a bit, Aniki. Sorry, Rikia. This has to be a one-man job. Alright, so... Oh, Uncle what the heck? Kaz? Hey, Uncle Kaz, let's play some baseball! I guess I have a little time before I go. Alright, but just a bit, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped! Hey, guys! Uncle Kaz is gonna play with us! We'll meet you down at the beach, okay? Don't pick us wait. Baseball boys, baseball girls. Move out. <laughs> well, we should go play with them. Why not? Little dog. あいつ最近よく見かけるよな。誰なんだろう。知らね。仲間に入りたいんじゃないかな。うん。I Cool! I'm Koji! What's your name? It's Akira. Well, Akira, you wanna play with us? You know how to play baseball, right? I, um... Uh... Come on, it'll be fun! Yeah, let's play! But, I've never played before. I bet I'm really bad at it, just like I'm bad at everything else. P.E.'s the only time I play sports, and even then I always get picked last. Don't worry, we'll teach you! But... We're just hitting how we needed another guy. Come on. Huh? We got two girls and five boys, so one more boy will even out the teams. Right, Taiji? Ah. Yeah, we'd love for you to join. Some of the other kids are pretty young, too, so we don't go too hard. Promise. Mm. All right, maybe I could play a bit. Thanks. Aw. We got a new friend! Hi, Uncle Kaz! This is our new friend, Akira-kun! Uh, hello. Looks like you guys are having fun. Yeah! We're teaching Akira-kun how to bat since he's never played baseball before. It's not going so good, though. I know. Uncle Kaz, you hit some balls and we'll try to catch them. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> Yeah, I don't mind taking a few swings. Awesome! Come on, Akira-kun. Let's catch some fly balls. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now we're forced to play this mini game. Alright, kids. Don't be afraid of the ball now. Help the kids practice their fielding by hitting balls that Mitsuo throws at you. Alright, uh... Oh, I missed. I missed again. There we go, I got one. There's another one. <laughs> uh oh. I hope it didn't go into the ocean. There 
go. That went to the pitcher. This one isn't as hard as the uh, golf one, and I'm glad about that. Uh oh. Oops, too early. Whoa! Oops, <laughs> that one went really high in the air. There we go. Why don't I try to hit them more toward the houses? That would uh, be easier than trying to hit it toward the ocean. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Phew, that was a good workout. Well, Akira-kun, that was pretty fun, huh? Yeah. They were done warming up. Time to play for real. For real? Yep. We don't have enough people for a game or anything, but we take turns at bat and everyone else plays defense. Where should we put Akira-kun? How about right field? It's the perfect spot for beginners. Good idea. Everyone get into position. W wait, what's right field? Uh. Seriously, you don't know? Lay off him, Tai Chi. It's his first time, remember? Right field's over there, far away from the batter. Just stand back there and get the ball if it comes your way. Then throw it to Mitsuo, okay? You'll be first. Fine, Nakir Kun. All right. All you need is a little confidence, Akira. Just believe in yourself. Anyways, I'm gonna head inside for a bit. Keep an eye on him, Koji. Oh. Will do. Let's see. Get you in position, Akira Kun. All right. Now we go inside. Uncle Kaz! Akira Kun, he. Uh oh. No, no. Baseball. What in the world were you thinking? Do you hear me, young man? My Akira Chan is a fragile boy. He can't be playing sports with you ruffians. What happened, Koji? Well, um, Akira Kun tripped and hit his head when he was af running after a fly ball. Running? Does my Akira Chan look like the kind of boy who runs? How dare you? I don't see why not. Does he have some kind of health condition that keeps him from exercising? Well, no, but Akira is abs <laughs> My baseball is absurdly dangerous. I can't believe you would let your play children play unsupervised. How dangerous can it be with a rubber ball and a plastic bat? Besides, it's totally normal for kids their age to be playing sports on their own. It's okay, Uncle Kaz. This is all my fault. I made Akira couldn't do it. Hello? What's going on in here? Oh. Oh, Mia Mirosan, I rushed over here as soon as I what hap heard what happened to your son. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> sorry isn't good enough, Hashimoto Sensei. Since what are you do just teaching these children, hmm? The school board is going to hear about this. I could promise you that. The school has nothing to do with it. Why is it that you always seem to be at the center of my problems, Kiryu-san? What was that? Mm -hmm. Wait. You know this brute Hashimoto-sensei? Yeah. Not exactly. He runs this orphanage, though. These are foul-tempered... These foul-tempered orphans of his quite... Caused quite the trouble for my son recently. <coughs> what? Then is it possibly... Then is it possible they forced my poor sweet Akira-chan to play this horrible game with them? I simply cannot stand for this. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, young man? This silly game is just an excuse for bullying my... To bully my innocent boy, wasn't it? Tell me the truth. Koji's no bully. How am I supposed to believe that after what happened to my Akira-chan? Police. I want the police here. Yes, ma'am. I'll call them right away. Uh... Don't worry, Akira-chan. The nice cops will be here soon. Koji-kun. 
Arcade Coon. I'm so sorry. You guys let me play with you, and then I had to go and mess it all up. It was fun, though. Baseball. Maybe we could play again sometime once I get better. Of course. Baseball, Akira-chan, what are you saying? You must have had to hit your head even harder than you realized. Don't get any ideas about seeing those awful orphans again. I'm forbidding you from coming over he he back here. <sighs> They're not awful, Mom, and they didn't pressure me into playing with them. I just wanted to. Koji-kun and Taichi-kun are really nice, way nicer than the other kids in my class, so don't be mean to them. Akira-chan. No, Mom. Everything, everyone here gets along so well, nobody would ever bully me. Not like at school. Mm -hmm. What? You're being bullied at school? Sometimes. By who? Tell me his name. That's two strikes against that teacher. あなた話があるわよ。今の一体どういうこと？はっきりと言わないとあなた。いや、これは。あなた教師ですよ。一体子供にどんな教育をしてるの？早く良くなってよ。まだまだいっぱい教えてやるから野球。いや、you yeah, <laughs> tell that teacher off. <laughs> well, that's a helicopter mom if I've ever seen one. She didn't mean what she said, Koji. Don't let it get to you, okay? Oh. I won't, especially because I made a new friend out of it. Heh, <laughs> that's one way to put look at it. You're a good kid, Koji. Isn't your flight soon, Uncle Kai? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Just let me know when you're gonna leave, okay? I'll get the others to come say goodbye. Or are you leaving now? I think we'll leave in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next episode when we go back to Kamarocho.